Hello everyone, I'm Di Tang from the Chinese University of Hong Kong. I'm pleased to introduce one of our work, Face Flashing, a secure Leibniz detection protocol based on light reflection. This work is co-authored by Zhe Zhou from Fudan University, Yin Chen Zhang from the Ohio State University, and Ke Huan Zhang from the Chinese University of Hong Kong. As we all know, in our daily life, Face-based authentication is popular. It can be used to payment online, reach your own ATM, open the door, and unlock our phones. But use only, use only the face recognition algorithm is not enough because adversaries can obtain many faces in the internet. And Using only one of the victim's images, it's enough to bypass the face recognition algorithm. Besides, adversaries may have high-resolution printer screens, powerful GPU CPUs. Importantly, they are skillful armed with developer technologies. So lapis detection is necessary. Lapis detection modular is a guard standing in front of the face recognition modular. It checks whether the, sub, the, use, the subject on the authentication is a real human. But to do it right is not so easy. Researchers have tried to extract features from the input. They extract the LBP to the forest spectrums and so on. But this kind of math, methods is easy to be bypassed. And Researchers have tried to use challenging response protocols. They instruct users to blink their eyes, make some impressions, move, head, move their head, speak some sentence. But there is a problem. These are the statistics of human reaction time from night, from internet. As we can see here, most of us need 260 millisecond to perform one's reaction. But within the same time, machines can do one billion flops. That is to say, in a very short time, machines can rebuild our 3D models, exchange our face, synthesize our expressions. We think, what is the fundamental problem? We find that, we find that Previous works have no strong security guarantee. What they relied on, details of the input, precision of the measurement, traveling of human, ability to perform the reaction are unreliable, as the human reaction is slow and uncertain. A smart device plus a screen can defeat it. We call this kind of attacks as the 2D dynamic attacks. The MFF attack is an instance. So what do you want to do? We want to find a solid stone where we can build up our secure protocol. No human reaction. Relieve that threats from these 2D dynamic attacks. And the stone we find is a non-digital and physical process Light reflection. It is vast. It doesn't need human reaction. It contains enough information that can be used to do light detection. This is a common use the reflection model. If we use a certain camera, we can simplify it. The simplified formula is that using this, we can get the reflectance that can be used to check the geometry shape of the subject. And we can get the illuminant that can be used to check the correlation between the incoming light and the reflected light. Based on this knowledge, we build our protocol. First, the generator randomly generates the challenging images. Then the screen flashes these images. At the meantime, our camera captured the reflected light and sent these uh, captured the responses to the face extractor. The face extractor extract face and send the face to time, face, and expression Wi-Fi to do the final 
decision whether the subject is a real human. Also, it is not so easy to do it right. There is the problem. Reflection process at the speed of light, but the camera is not. We solve the problem by deeply accurate the working details of the screen and the camera. In the camera, there is a curtain in front of the matrix of the optic sensors. Every time the curtain scans from left to right and triggers the refraction process of every optical sensor. Literally, the timeline of the refraction process is that. We can find that the camera, the camera actually is a continuously recording device. That is to say, in any time, there are always sensors awake which make it possible to detect any difference in time. The working screen of the screen is similar. This is an example showing what we will get from the camera when the screen refreshing from right to green. The capture image is changed gradually along the diagonal. So, how did we exactly verify the time? <laughs> First, we randomly generate the challenges, including two types, background challenges, lighting challenges. We did two kinds of challenges. We can use this formula mentioned above to infer the current challenges of, <coughs> of the received response. In this figure, we can see that Lighting area in different locations result in different re responses. So we can calculate the location of the lighting area. The RI is the cor corresponding areas where it's being ref refreshed when, at the same time when the screen is flashing the lighting area. So if there is an attacker want to attack us, the attacker will be slowing us, will be slower than us. Does the delay exist? If the delay exists, the wrong location will be calculated by our algorithms. So this attack is be detected. And we enhance our tolerance of the algorithm. We accumulate the results of every frames to build our time criteria. Besides, <coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> Besides, we also do the verification on face. First, we get the reflections of the subject, and we extract, we abstract the main curve by using the multinomial fitting, and we recite the objected result to 2020 and put this 2020 image to a neural network to do the clarification, check whether the input is a face-like ob object. We did several e experiments to test our method. In the first experiment, we built a forge area against the real ROI. As we can see, when we enlarge the sh shift, the, crit the criteria we build will go large also. That is to say, this criteria is good. And in the second experiment, we used the laptop and a mirror to simulate the real attack. When we use the laptop to simulate the attacker, the laptop just display the image captured from its own cameras on its screen. The time results show, are shown on below. The yellow line is the mirror's result, the white line is the laptop's result. There is a clear gap between them. That is to say, in this real attack, 
the delay is obvious and is easy to be detected. We also test uh, the verification on phase algorithm. We use four different screens to attack our algorithm. And the result says this algorithm is works well. Lastly, we use six different scenarios to test uh, our whole method. We can see even in the worst case, scenario six, we, our methods also achieve about 97% accuracy. In this scenario, we invite our participants hold the test of phone and walk down a slope during the night. The illumination of this scenario is worse and the vibration is intense, which, which say that our method is robust. All in all, our methods relieve the threat from the 2D dynamic attacks and drive the adversary to launch 3D dynamic attacks, which is complex and expensive, even though we may not handle the 3D dynamic attacks. But we can combine the albedo curve to handle it, which deserve another paper. Yeah. Our implementation, just, our implementation just use eight different colors, but we think it is enough. Our method needs seven seconds to collect enough responses. Actually, three seconds is enough. We think this time is acceptable. Next step, we want to merge our, merge our methods and the current face recognition algorithm to further enhance the accuracy and the robustness. In summary, we propose the phase fraction protocol. We use a new methods to do the verifications. We evaluate our prototype. Thank you. Questions? Hi. Uh, interesting work. Um, just sort of a random question. I mean, the assumption here is that image-based facial recognition is always the best way to go. So, and then you have to do things like liveness tests. But why not, I mean, I guess my question is, why is that the correct assumption? Because the 3D contour stuff beyond certain corner cases seems to work reasonably well. And it already includes essentially what is built-in liveness tests that, you know, for example, um, I would assume it would pass your test. Right, so, so I'm talking about, for example, the stuff that's already deployed in, in an iPhone X with the 3D, 3D uh, laser contour stuff. So any insights into why you know, that stuff is weaker compared to, for example, image-based facial recognition? <coughs> so can you repeat your? Sure, so I mean, I guess it's, it's sort of unfair, but this is not quite necessarily about your work, but just the assumption that um, why not just use something like a 3D contour-based recognition instead of image-based facial recognition? Oh, this is a good question. Thanks. Mm, the case is that mm, in iPhone X, it needs uh, special devices. As we can see, there is a finely ultra-wide lasers embedded in the iPhone X which is expensive. But if we can use the image-based authentication, even our phones or your phones like the Android and other devices can be used, use these technologies and it will, be, will become more secure. Hi, uh, Bolin from UC Santa Barbara. So very interesting idea. So you said you're using a simplified model of, uh, sim sorry, simplified reflection model for the liveness detection. So any idea how hard it is for attacker to, you know, use the same reflection model and render a, you know, realistic enough video that can bypass your detection? <clears throat> the hardness of the attack, attack becomes from, from that the attackers need to Simultaneously, is the um, <coughs> bypass the face recognition modular 
making the request, making the expressions, and uh, bypass our system. And in other words, is that the adversaries need to generate the fake responses in a very short time, and the, the responses must be in high quality. So that is the difficulty of the of the adversaries. I have uh, one quick announcement that uh, there is the student travel grant meet and greet. So if you got a student travel grant, go meet your other student travel grant recipients. And then at 7 o'clock, since I'm the poster's chair, I expect to see every single one of you there talking to every single person at a poster at least twice and then voting on the best poster using your best sense and not just voting for your student. So make sure you do that, okay? And I'll see everyone at 7.